um, considering we've only ever been on one cruise, which was a small one around the UK, this <laughs> is huge. Bloody hell. Jeez. I, I, you know what? I didn't believe in vertigo groiners. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling it now. Aren't now you? I'm feeling it. I don't think I'm feeling it in my groin, but God, I'm feeling it somewhere. Bloody hell. Right. Well, you, you literally couldn't ask for a smoother um, process. We showed up 40 minutes early than what we were meant to be here, and we thought they might make us wait. Next thing, we had our baggages taken off us, we had our labels put on. We were swept through, we were greeted at every single doorway in every single escalator. Bottom of the escalator, top of the escalator. We were given like infused cucumber infused I've never water. Had more compliments in my life. I know. It's <laughs> just it was we were like uh, yes, hello. Oh thank you. Oh, oh right, okay, yeah, thank you. We're, yes, all right, thank you. We were like rushed through, went through security, they were like Thanking us, so, <laughs> it I was. I didn't even know what I'd done right. I know. I didn't, I didn't even know what I'd done. <laughs> we we've literally almost jogged through the the thing. We were, I couldn't even keep up, and then now they've just said, "Okay, go through and just board." And, and this so, is twenty five minutes before we were even meant to turn up. Yeah, I, it's very good the system, and obviously there's two ships boarding at once, so they just have like one lane for one and one lane for the other, and but there's been no queuing. We've just come straight through. It's it's very, very well organised, put it that way. Highly efficient and everybody was lovely. So, uh, yeah, it's time to get on board. It's it's quite scary. It's just so big. But exciting. So, let's get on. That there, apparently, this uh, orange thing is the magic carpet. So it moves about the ship, apparently, so up, and down. up and down. Yeah, up and down. Yeah, it has like different purposes. Anyway, we'll show you all this when we're on. We've literally just boarded the ship, haven't even been to our room yet, and Michael said, let's have a look at the casino. <laughs> God. No money. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> wow. So obviously they can't play them yet because we're still in dock. Oh my word, look, it's big. It's really big. Michael's already eyeing up all of the machines. Dancing drums. Ooh, lightning links. <laughs> what the major <laughs> Ten hour room do you think at any point? Oh Lord of that impossible. More ultimate fire link power four. Go on, that's it. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be, you know. Was it a buzz? Yeah, no dragon links, that's unusual. Thunder train or whatever it's called. I think this is going to be our most used room, other than our uh, our own room. <laughs> For more puff, Wonder Woman. There's lots of huff and puffs and dancing drums. Lots of them. Oh, there's a Heidi, Heidi around there. there. Heidi and Zeus. Clash bats. Yay, cats had some more bats. <laughs> oh, look, wonderful tall fortunes. Hi, then. Miss Kitty one. Uh, yeah, Dance yeah, Miss Kitty there. Oh, excellent. Lots of piggy bank, huh? Yeah. Dragon chain, not going to us. Well, I think we're going to be having lots of fun in here. But I would like to go to our room now, is that alright? No, no, I want to go and look at the other Are you serious? You don't have to film it. <laughs> It's really quite overwhelming, you know, when you've never done anything this size. When you've never been on a ship this size, it's a bit like... What's in here? Is this like the high limit area then or something? 
Ich weiß nicht, wo man so schwimmen muss hier. Heidi sucht Small Dance Syndrome. No. Oh, well, well enough to keep us going. we'll be making up for it when we hit Vegas with the Dragon Link. Right, right let's actually go to the room now. <laughs> All right, so a quick room tour um, on the cruise. So it's gorgeous for a start. That's kind of the first view. I'm right at the door here. Um, so we'll do the bathroom first, which is just here on the right. And it's a decent size, actually. So I'll step in, there's a big sink there, lots of kind of shelving either side, big mirror, some artwork, obviously the toilet, and there's like a triangular shower but it's a, it's a good size really. Right, so that is the bathroom. Then going into the main room, we have kind of a desk area, loads of storage there, chair, it's quite a nice lighting, mirror there as well. We've got like a settee, sofa area with a lounge, and some more artwork, there's loads of storage here. Robes, there's a quite a big wardrobe in there, with a safe. And some more drawers. They're really good at uh, creating space in these little rooms on the. Um, so moving across, it's a very wide bed. I said to Michael, it's really big, but it's not particularly long. <laughs> Just, I mean, I'll be fine. I'm only dinky, five foot two, but uh, I know. I think last time we went on that little cruise, Michael's feet were hanging off the edge of the bed, so I think they will be again. But um, very nice. Looks well, we've already lay on it a little bit. Comfy wide bed there. It's all decorated really nice, really smart. And then there's the big TV here. Obviously we haven't set off yet, so we're still in port. But this is the kind of infinity infinite veranda, I think it's called. Um so we've got a couple of chairs. So they have got doors here, so you can close this area off if you want. But uh, why you would I'm not quite sure because it obviously adds more space a couple of chairs table and um, There's the other ship ovation of the seas opposite Which is obviously set and sail today as well uh, But this is what our lovely uh, window does It's gonna be noisy when I open this But basically it's having a balcony within your room so it can kind of uh, adds extra space a bit more privacy but you also get that kind of outdoor balcony feel i better not go too close so i don't drop it uh, <laughs> drop the phone out but yeah i mean this is gorgeous i think it would definitely be used more in a hot cruise <laughs> it will have to wait and see how much we'll get use of it in kind of you know five and six degrees but I plan on sleeping with it open uh, yeah Michael wants it open all the time because that's how what he likes but uh, yeah it's, this is going to be gorgeous in terms of the views and having this right here so all in all I think the, the uh, room is spectacular can't fault it we haven't got our luggage yet that's the only thing but I'm sure it won't be long. Definitely going to be comfortable here for seven nights. Where are the suitcases going to go? I've got no idea. Yeah, that's the only thing storage wise, but I suppose one could maybe go on the veranda a bit and one on the, the chair, maybe one on the sofa. That's the only thing. Because we tend not to unpack. Bearing in mind we've got clothes for. 18 degree heat in Seattle, 5 degree heat in Alaska and like 32, 33 degree heat in Vegas. We're kind of overpacked. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see what, ha what happens with that, but very happy.
thought, Michael, first impressions. Of what, sorry? Of, like, everything. We've been on about... Oh, there's a space needle. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> I would spot that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we were yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday we were over, up there looking over here. <laughs> on a cruise ship though, now on a cruise ship looking over there. Weird. So we don't know if we go first or they go first. Uh, ovation of the seas. I don't know if it's a race. <laughs> but uh, Not a very high speed one. No. There. We've been on here about, what, an hour now? An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Uh, we set sail in about 40 minutes. This is the magic carpet, of course. And there's a little party going on down at the deck below. But yeah, Michael, first impressions of the ship? Big. It's huge, isn't it? It's, it's overwhelmingly huge, I would say, at the minute. That's how it feels to me. But obviously, a couple know, of days... You've gotten over that before. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can manage it again. It'll, it'll just take you a bit of time, like has in the past. Uh, Michael, stop it. I'm talking about the, when we got the bigger car, man. Mm, really? When we got the bigger car. Anyway, um, yeah, it's massive. Um, and I know that's very basic as a terms of a summary, but we went on the... There was lunch served, like a welcome lunch on just over there on deck 14. So we've had that. And just the food choices. I mean, you're talking about a, you know, Bellagio style buffet, bigger than Bellagio actually. You're talking about Bacchanal. Yeah, Bacchanal, bigger probably, and that's just one of the rooms. Um, and we have not even looked at the other rooms yet. Uh, we don't know if we've got our luggage yet, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, we've got the drinks pa package, the classic drinks package. So. Basically, it's unlimited drinks, so it's just like being in Vegas, really. And the casino is a perfect, you don't have to spend money to get it, you just have to show a little pass. Tips are included. In all the tips are included, so you just literally show your little card and get free drinks all day long. Um, so, yeah, so we are setting sail, like I say, in about 35, 40 minutes. So, we're just having a little look around, try to take it all in, to be honest, and get a little bit more familiar with everything because it is just a bit overwhelming, but. I'm sure a couple of days and we'll be fine. Because tomorrow we're just at sea, so it gives us a chance to really explore the ship, doesn't it? Yep. Um, vlogs wise, we're probably going to upload the cruise part in three different vlogs. It won't be every day. Oh, yeah, we won't be doing daily. We're just going to do it when we've got enough, yeah. really, footage and when we can be bothered to, to vlog, yeah. really. We'll do them in stuff. kind of two and a half day chunks. And also, the Wi Fi has already proved to be a little bit difficult, so we're just going to have to see what the Wi Fi is like. but. Anyway, we will film it, and if, if we end up putting it out when we get to Vancouver or Vegas, we'll just have to do that. We'll see how we get on. But yeah, it's uh, we're very happy so far, aren't we? I'm as happy as I get. Yeah. <laughs> God. Right. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll we'll be back soon. Honk. Honk. So the question has been answered. Ovation of the seas wins the race. It's ten to four, and they're just heading off. 10 minutes before us. Me and Michael are actually sat having a drink in the um, magic carpet, which to be fair, Michael has, he's uh, getting over another fear really, because this hangs off the side of the boat. It's not even on the actual boat, it hangs off the side. So he's doing very well. He says as long as he doesn't look forward, he's fine. I'm fine as long as nobody really talks about it. So. <laughs> Now, oops, there's the space needle in the background again. We, Michael's being very competitive, saying that he thinks our ship's better than their ship. Tell you what was really good, literally that's the, the kind of, what, terminal? Is that what it's called down there? Now a taxi dropped us off like there, right at the door. Now, actually looking down, there's one person standing there with their suitcase. I wonder if they've missed it. We've got prime seats here. <laughs> Not even standing up, just prime seats. And we are off. A spectacular view of Seattle as we leave. We um, we were just sitting, having a drink, 
relaxing and we were actually saying when we got here to Seattle uh, that obviously we were on a flight that nobody knew us because we usually go to Vegas and there's people uh, on there that, that say hello and whatever else and we got here to Seattle we were saying you know nobody knows us and it was, <laughs> and, uh, it was kind of travelling incognito and then we got on the ship and it was uh, exactly the same and then we were just sat and just sat waiting to set off and um, a lovely couple came over um, D and A Globe Trotters, I think it is. They've just started a, a YouTube channel. Anyway, they go to Vegas a lot, and they recognised us, <laughs> so we nearly got away. <laughs> but um, very nice of them to come over. She was very annoyed that we. Sh Apparently, she thinks we get too many hand pairs, which we don't agree with in the slightest. So um, she said, if she hears somebody getting a hand pair in the casino, she thinks it'll be us. So I, I hope she's right. Definitely, definitely hope she's right. Yeah, it's really nice, I know. Are you alright on the magic carpet there, Michael? I don't like as long as people stop reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> the bar going on behind us. So the sail away party is still going on. I've changed seats so I can look forward. And um, I've just ordered a Malibu and Diet Coke. And this is what's come. It's a pint of Malibu and Diet Coke. I said to him, is that got Malibu? And he went, yeah, yeah, just take it slow. I'm like, uh, okay. I mean, we were just saying cruise cruise life although we've only been on here for half an hour actually forces you to uh, to kind of live slower I mean there's nothing to rush off to there's no way that you need to be there's nothing you have to uh, you know no deadlines to meet or anything it's just kind of like you're in the middle of nowhere and the bars all over and you just have to kind of just sit and enjoy it so it's quite nice anyway god knows how long it'll take us to get a me pint of uh Malibu with Ico, but Michael's enjoying his first Corona anyway. So we're just leaving uh, Seattle for good, and we've just noticed in the background there. I'm not sure if it will show up too much over here. There it is, Mount Rainier. I think that's called, is it, Michael? One of the most dangerous active volcanoes. In the world. Standing majestically there. Just in the background. It's been too cloudy for us to see it while we've been in Seattle. We couldn't see it from the um from the needle, but there it is in the background. It would have been very easy to miss. I know, yeah. Anyway. It's got a bit chilly now and the rain's coming in, so we're going to go inside and let's just hope our luggage is there. Dear, yay! Phew! So, it is our first bonus of the uh, holiday. Um, and uh, it's on Best Bet, Lightning Link. So I'm just playing five cent, uh, one twenty-five bet, and it's the first bonus. So we'd love a holding spin. Michael's theory was because we normally don't get a holding spin until the third night, that we've already done two nights in Seattle, and so this, in effect, is the third night of our trip, <laughs> even though it's only the first night of playing slots. So Michael, I'm hoping that that comes to when we get a holding spin tonight. Let's see. Come on. We want the cups. Oh. At least you get it is. At least you get ten spins with this. It gives you a chance. Oh, they're all just clashing at the minute. Come on, cups, two more. Oh no, one. Nope. This is going to be a dud, I think. 
Come on. Just see if we can give us one good line here. What? Oh! <laughs> Away. Well, that was horrendous for our first bonus. I hope this isn't a sign of things to no. come. <laughs> well, oh, damn it. So I've got a Dolphin's Pearl one now, 250 bet this time, 10 cent the norm. It's been a whole spin, third night, I told you. Really That's where we've been going wrong. We should just be skipping over the first two nights. Well, they're all little ones, but I'd like a biggie in there. Yeah, a worthy one. Even the minis are hundred. Casino's rammed, by the way. I don't know if it's a first night kind of thing, yeah, I but. Think it might be. Mm. I mean, that's not going to break any records, is it? Yeah, 37.50, I'd say a, a fair way below average, but at least it's a bonus. So, got it again on best bet on the 125. Uh, so again, yeah, hold and spin. Very happy with I that. I now understand what we've been doing wrong. I uh, know, it would just be nice to get something uh, nice now. I mean, them numbers are nice, progressive, so let's go. Come on, give us a wordy cup. Come on, the cups. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to leave me hanging there. Come on, the cups. Ooh, there was a biggie going through. Come on, there was a wordy cup. It's nice. Come on, the wordies. Yes. It is, yeah, for a 125. Come on. Ooh, keep it going. Come on, fill it up. Wordy, wordy cups. Come on. Last one. Come on, give us one. Ooh. Only small amounts, but still. nice to get them isn't it you after such a long them. break yeah not bad on a 125 bet Diddling, diddling, diddling. <laughs> oh that all familiar sound it's nice so we are in again on best bet only a few spins later uh, now last time i got this was only a fiver so <laughs> let's see let's see if i can better that uh, come on give us the hold and spin oh there's some wilds oh damn uh, real four, four I know. Right, come on. Don't get, don't block each other. Oh, look, it's blocking. Come on. Oh, nearly a re-trigger. Some wilds there would have been lovely. Come on. Halfway through. Go on, re-trigger. Oh. Damn it. This free spins bonus is so frustrating. Everything just blocking. Go on. Oh, that should be all right. Uh, it's not counting very uh, quickly. Come on, give us the cups. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, that's something. Still only a little bottom counter though. What, $20? Oh well, better than nothing. At least it's playing. So on our penultimate spin on, uh, <laughs> on Dolphin, Dolphin's Pearl, we've got a whole spin. Oh, no. Only a 125 bet, 5 cent norm. Uh, it's difficult to hold out a huge amount of hope. Well, I mean, I'd like something. I like. Uh, well. I think that's it saying I'm letting you get out of here with something, but yeah, that's poor. We are on Huff and More Puff. We are playing uh, one Sunday on 225 a bit, and we've got uh, six hats. Come on, the hats. Hats, hats, hats. Yeah, that's not a good start. <laughs> oh no. Come on, hats. Three at a time. 
Mama had. So I need to re triggers desperately. Go on, Momo. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. No. <laughs> we need to re trigger our gold. What? Yes. Two gold. Thank you. Thankfully. Phew. If you wanted any two to land on that last one, it was them two, wasn't it? All straw and two poles. Yeah. Right, come on. Come on, Wolfie. See if you're uh, as grumpy on sea as you are on land. <laughs> All just 150s there. Right, give us a coin. A biggie. One. Actually, they're, they're really good amounts. So that's what. $92? I'm really happy with that. $225 bet. Hey, maybe you like speed and see? Yeah, that last spin. If it wasn't for that, oh my god, we're all just 150s. Good win. So Kronos just uh, jumped up and started doing his thing. That's what we would want there, I would think. Real two, as ever, is the one that we need stuff in, I think. It's a $2 bet. Jackpot would be good there. No, thought it was jackpot for a minute. Still okay. Yeah. I do love a bit of Zeus and a Kronos, you know. Old school, I mean. Old school, yeah. So we decided to go a little bit old school. We've already done Kronos, so we thought we'd do Buffalo Gold. Um, anyway, we're on a 120 bet, and we've got the uh, bonus eight free games. As you know, without reach, I guess this is nothing. Uh, so come on, Buffalo. Loads and loads of re-triggers. And loads of nice multipliers, please. Come on. Oh, there's one gold head. Oh, there's multipliers. That's going to be all right. Nice start. 27.60, good start. Come on. Re-trigger? No. Come on, we're halfway through the games. Definitely need a re-trigger. It's gonna be any, oh, the coin was just there. Two gold heads isn't gonna do much at all, is it? <laughs> we definitely need a re-trigger, come on. Ugh. Last spin. Nope. Well, it's traditional buffalo, isn't it? Yeah, 120, 28, 70, keeps us going. 